Hi, it's me, Jane, with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Today is VEDA Day 15. Um, today, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what we do every other Sunday. Every other Sunday, my husband and I um, go out to a Chinese restaurant. And I say Chinese, although the folks that run it are Japanese, and a lot of the dishes are more geared towards Japanese style instead of Chinese, although they do have quite a few Chinese options. Um, and it's pretty good. We enjoy it. You know, it's a buffet. So we get a nice uh, little taste of some kind of different food. And my husband really likes sushi. And the um, chef there, um, Chang, is always doing all kinds of things for him, preparing special sushi, setting it aside because he knows we come every other week. So lots of times he'll roll something up or um, put it in a tempura batter and set it aside because he knows my husband's going to be there. Um, they used to carry a lot of eel sushi, which my husband enjoys, so he would go and get the, the eel, you know. Um, I don't do sushi. Um, a lot of, I've tried it. I don't, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I have an iodine sensitivity. So I have to choose carefully whether I want to have a stomach ache, ache afterwards or not. Um, I don't go into anaphylactic shock, thank goodness. But, um, you know, I have that issue. So lots of seafoods don't agree with me. And uh, like I said, I get a really bad stomach ache from it. After that, we go buy some bird seed. And, well, I say bird seed, but it's got some peanuts and things in it for the chick mum, chick, chip monks and the squirrels. And, of course, the rabbit comes and takes some of it during the night. And we've seen the possum out there. And every once in a while, we do see bears out there. Even though we live inside of Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, we live directly across from the river, Susquehanna. And many times the bears will cross the river and come into town looking for food. And since we live in an apartment complex where there are a lot of students, they don't use covered trash cans many times. They just put their trash bags out. And uh, there was one time that I went to go put the trash out because my husband was out of town with a, a uh, GSA meeting. And when I went to open the door, I heard chuff, chuff. And I knew what that meant. That usually means there's a bear back there. And sure enough, I shut the door and looked, and there's a bear walking, you know, through our line looking for trash. So I just let him walk, and I put it out the next morning. Um, I think you can tell my voice is a little strained today. Um, that A lot of that is because of the moisture that's in the air. Uh, it's starting to get really overcast and cloudy. We were supposed to have rain all day, but we did not get rain all day. It's just been overcast and cool. You know, yesterday it was 88, 86. Today it's in the 40s. Sometimes you wonder what's going on with Mother Nature. My husband does do research with environmental studies for certain groups and things like that. One of the things he's noticed is that we, he believes we're in a cycle where the seasons start to change. And that has happened in the past before. Um, there were times when winter was in the summer, and then we had summer weather in the winter. So he sees what he's seeing are trends that were moving back about a month to a month and a half in that research. So that's kind of interesting, you know, to hear him tell me some of those things. Then he does research that I can't know anything about, or, you know, he'd have to kill me. That's a joke, folks. <laughs> After we do that, generally we go to AC Moore. 
is one of my favorite places to go and I get some acquisitions which I did get an acquisition you know I got all that brown yarn and this is a dark brown I believe it's called deep brown I'm finding that many times it's hard to find a true brown and this comes pretty close to what I was thinking of and I you know with those browns and those grays and that kind of tan color I was asked to make something for a man I did choose that I'm going to make a hat and an afghan the hat I'm starting on this evening hope to have it done by tomorrow but for the afghans I'm trying to decide what I want to do there's one of these super easy lapgan patterns these are all free patterns find them at it at uh, Ravelry and this one basically uses three skeins of lawyer brown lion brand woolies thick and quick which you know I don't use that I can use two or three strands of um, just regular worsted weight and a P hook and it's basically that one single crochet one double crochet across your chains and then turn and repeat the opposite and the other you know you put a single crochet and double crochet and a double crochet and single crochet that's what I mean by that this one I thought was kind of interesting it's called a diagonal lap gan and it's basically just a, a um, lap gan where you hold two yarns together I've been doing that for quite some time to use up scraps I don't know if I want to do that or not with this I may just change it up and use the uh, single strand of worsted and um, a smaller hook size but it's basically a, a pretty simple thing you know three double crochets and one knot then the other one I looked at was the use scrap afghan and I kind of like that one because it it is a rectangle you know men are kind of tall but then the thing that I that bothers me the most about this is if you actually do it in the rectangle you've got to consider how long you need to chain it because as it grows it'll not only grow in length this way but as width so I'm um, I don't know about that one yet so I'm kind of on the fence trying to decide which one I want to do other than that I've just been working on the usual I did want to show you a couple things that I got I've told you in the past that I like, I like to do a lot of things shabby chic and on our trip I'd forgotten about these acquisitions but on our bus trip we stopped at a consignment shop which was Abigail's um, clothing or Abigail's closet is what it was called in Danville and I did get a pin like this found another pin like this they were both very decent little prices and um, thought I would do those on some of the shab shabby chic bags that I make and sell so you know looking towards doing that the only other thing is we did stop at our local Wally World we'd forgotten some items and of course for some reason in our town Sundays is a big day to go shopping at Wally World Wally World is Walmart for those of you that don't know and it brings out some of the strangest characters and there were plenty of them out there not the usual crowd I see love you Lock Haven and Mill Hall Flemington but you know some of you people are a little and by that I mean they're very uh, unaware of other people around them like when you're trying to go down an aisle they'll spread out six to a lane you know and you're trying to get around them and you can't get around them that kind of thing 
and then they do tend to stop together in clumps of people and sit and chat. Now they've probably seen each other just at church, but they got to stop and chat again. So it becomes the social hour at Walmart. And that kind of drives my husband nuts. Uh, he always tells me he doesn't like people. And I know that's not the case because he's he works well with others, talks well with others. And when we go places, he, you know, fits right in. But he always tells me, you know, I deal with people every day at the university. Day in, day out. And he said, and some of them are so high fluting they can think better of themselves than they do, you know, of everybody else. And they, they tend to kind of talk down to you. I said, yeah, I know. But you got the same degree they do. So don't worry about it. But he says, after working with people all day, he said, I just don't want to be around people. And I can understand that. I was that way when I was working in the nursing field. After I got through working, I didn't want to go anywhere do anything. So I can understand that completely. Um, nothing else much going on here. With that, I'll close, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.